In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to beat the cover two defense with 30 yard cloud flats in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name's Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players through tips and strategies, both on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it allows you to know whenever we release new videos that can help you become a better Madden player. All right, guys, so what we're talking about today is a way that you can beat the cover two cloud flat at 30 yards. Now, the reason that I think that it's significant to bring this conversation to light is because I think the Tampa 2, because of the fact that deep halves don't get glitched as badly as quarter zones and thirds do, I think you're going to see a lot of people move into some type of cover three style of defense. And so I want to give you some tools that can help you first and foremost beat that. Now, one of those tools comes to us out of the bunch tight end. Um, this is in my New York Jets offensive ebook. If you want to get the full gun bunch and bunch tight end ebook, it is in the description below. Um, we also include a one and a half hour breakdown on the trips tight end offset as well. Um, so you can get all of that together in one little package deal. Now, and again, that's in the description. Now, if you have any questions about this video, be sure to text me. My number is in the top right-hand corner of your screen. But all we're going to do, first and foremost here, is we're just going to create a little bit of a route combination that is going to do a really good job against cover two. And it's basically motioning over these uh, little post routes right here. So this route to Tavon Austin, if I just motion this to the right and put the tight end on a streak, you're going to see here that... Um, this is going to kill cover two as you see here this little post now that is a 30 30 yard cloud flat and you see what I'm talking about these 30 yard cloud flats in my personal opinion are very difficult to consistently beat um, that's actually kind of one of my preferred ways to play right now is 30 yard uh, cloud flats just because it keeps everything in front of you but what you're going to notice here is this specific route to the square receiver will indeed get over as long as it has enough time in the pocket to be able to develop. You're gonna see it's gonna drop, 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 and you're gonna be able to hit it over the top for several, several yards. Now, one of the things that a lot of people will say to do if you are facing something like a defense where they have 30 yard uh, cloud flats, is they'll say just run some corner routes that are a little bit more shallower. There's a good chance you're gonna be able to hit some stuff against that, and they're not wrong. But as you can see right here, I mean, it's a tight throw. It's not necessarily a wide open dot. Um, it's definitely a tight throw. So anyways, that's that's kind of part A of beating cover two. Now I'm gonna share with you part B, and this one is a little bit more dicey, but this comes from the gun bunch out of the New York Jets playbook. And we're gonna be going over two plays in particular, well, three, I guess three. Uh, the first one is uh, Jets, um, what is it called here? Double trail, I believe. Jets double trail, uh, mesh, and then Jets dig. Those are going to be the kind of the key plays. And then obviously we have verticals as well. Um, and of course, you you know, again, this is assuming if someone's running this defense on you, it's definitely assuming that they are going to have somebody in the deep middle of the field. Um, it's very likely that they're going to do something like, you know, this right here, you know, where they've got some purple zones. They've got some people in the middle of the field you know, something like this defense right here, okay? But anyways, um, the Jets double trail, this route to the square receiver um, is a very unique little route. It's kind of designed specifically for cover two, but as you can see, if they have 30 yard cloud flats, they're gonna be able to do a really good job of beating or of, of handling this. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to flip your gun bunch. Um, you're gonna have to flip the bunch and then you're gonna to have to go into it again. And now what you're gonna see is now because he's gonna have a little bit more space to be able to work, you can hit this. Now, the only way you can consistently hit this, in my personal opinion, is if you are willing to motion over a streak, okay? I think you have to be willing to do that. If you're not, you're gonna be frustrated because the routes are just not going to be as open. So what I like to do is put square on a little streak here, and then I'm just gonna motion him over, snap him kind of, I might even let him set it, set his feet, you know, but basically just get him out there. He's going to be able to pull that space. And then as you can see here, you're going to have a nice little, nice little window to be able to hit that. And again, that's a 30 yard cloud flat. And that's what I'm talking about. The 30 yard cloud flats are very difficult to stop. Now, the beauty of this is if you want to run short side bunch to be able to beat cover two, that's where this jets dig can come in handy. 
um, with this little R1 streak right here. All we're going to do is we're just going to streak the tight end. And basically, this R1 streak, as long as you pass lead it hard to the left, um, and you and I when I say hard to left, I mean you want to throw it at like nine o'clock. If your if your if your um, controller was a joystick, you want to make sure that you're throwing this ball at about nine o'clock, maybe even maybe even eight o'clock. Okay, because it's really really important that you are able to you know kind of clear this window. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this, but again, right here. As long as I just get this all the way over there left side, that's what I'm looking for. And as you can see there, 30 yard cloud flat, we're able to get over the top of that. Now again, that's a very specific type of throw. Um, in mutt, I would say it's a little bit harder to make because of the how good how good the zone coverage is in mutt right now with the 99 overalls everywhere. Um, it is very difficult to be able to hit consistently hit this. But if we don't streak that tight end, I just want to we'll show you what's going to happen. You. You see there, I mean, you're going to have a little bit of a window, but it's not as clean. It's not as clear um, for you to be able to hit that. So that's something that you need to be aware of uh, when you're running this. And again, you can only do this, uh, to my knowledge, you can only do this to the short side of the field. Um, if you try to do this to the wide side, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. But again, you'll see right here, hard left pass lead, click on. That's really what we're looking for, getting over the top of the defense. Now, again, if they're smart, they're going to man up the slot. They're going to do some things to be able to take that away. But that is one of your options. Now, let's say you wanted to be cover two uh, to the wide side of the field. You're going to call the play verticals. You're just going to simply streak the tight end. And honestly, I, I like to go ahead and just motion the circle receiver out. Um, and what you're going to see here, again, the, the cloud flat, you do have to wait a significant amount of time. But... I mean, even right there, I mean, they played it really, really well. So, I mean, they may have changed that a little bit. But basically what you're – I think it's actually – I'm sorry. It's more for the press coverage. So if they if they don't press coverage out of that cover two, they're going to have a little bit better of an opportunity to be able to beat you. Um, or I'm sorry, contain, contain that route. But if they do press coverage, you're just going to pass lead up and to the outside into that same window. But it is a tight window, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. It is a very tight window uh, to be able to hit. So for my money, the best way to beat cover two from um, from bunch is the play mesh. All you're going to do is you're just going to streak the R1 receiver. That's literally all you're going to do. And what you're going to see is that circle receiver on that corner route will get over the top of that of that uh, defense. So that's personally why I choose to run you know this kind of formation right here. Now you can do some isolation bombs, um, and all that basically means is that basically you have you know, just underneath type of routes. So if I did something like this right here uh, from the gun bunch, you're gonna see that I'm gonna have a shot. I'm not sure if this exactly will work with this route combo here, but I'm gonna have a shot to hit the square receiver over the top and looks like he is gonna go ahead and back up. So I'm just gonna have to check it down, but you can have, you do have some opportunities to be able to hit that. But again, you know, I would recommend the play mesh. I think mesh is the easiest way. Uh, mesh is gonna be the most consistent too. So you see here, even if they're backed off, um, and you see, I mean, if they don't, if they don't press up, that's not going to work. So they have to be pressing out of their cover two. Now it's very likely that they will do that. Um, you know, it's, it's very likely that they will do that, but as long as they press out of that cover two, um, you're going to see that you are going to be able to get over the 30 yard cloud flat. But I think the 30 yard cloud flats right now are super difficult to beat. It's one of my base strategies for defending things like gun tight, gun bunch, even trips tight end to an extent, uh, to an extent. So Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about cover two. I think cover two with the 30 yard cloud flats and the fact that the deep halves are very effective in the deep area of the field, in my opinion, it, it, it does definitely cause some issues. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask those uh, via text message. My number's in the top right hand corner of your screen. And last but not least, if you want to get this full offensive ebook, uh, it gives you answers for everything that the defense is going to be doing to you. I would highly encourage you to pick it up. It's in the description right now. 20 bucks for the whole ebook. That's bunch, bunch tight end, trip tight end offset, some under center stuff as well. Or if you just want to get the gun bunch or the gun bunch tight end, either one of them individually, it's just 15 bucks. So um, if you want to pick that stuff up, that's available in the description of this video.